Hi, hi folks. Today it's all about guava cheese. Yes, we're gonna make cheese with guava. So I've already started cutting up some of them. I'm gonna continue and then I'm gonna take you across to the cooker and we're gonna add some water and soften it up and then we will proceed to be to make our cheese okay so as you can see it's quite a lot of over here but we need to get the pulp out of it so i'm i just turn the cooker on i'm going to add one cup of water when it comes to a boil i will turn the heat down and let it simmer and soften this these guavas some of them are not very soft it's ripe but some some are overripe and some are not so we're going to get them to that soft point and then i'm going to put it to the blender pulse it i'm going to sift it to get the pulp out minus the seeds and then we're going to get a measurement of how much pulp there is i'm going to add three quarter cup of sugar to every cup of pulp so i'm going to put the lid on here and let this soften up a bit and we'll come right back okay folks <laughs> So here we are, our guava, guavas, or guava, however you want to pronounce it, has softened up quite nicely. I'm going to turn the cooker off now and leave it to cool down a bit before I put it to the blender. Um, we're going to go to the next step to remove the pulp. Yep quite soft mm -hmm. that's what we're looking at now it's not the very pink covers so it's not really bright in color but we'll work with it definitely work with it okay so I took it through the blending process and let's see I'm gonna pass it through the sieve now and let's see how much cups of oops pub we're going to get it's still quite warm Okay, folks, so I got four cups of pulp out of this. It may have seemed like a whole lot, but I only got four cups. Makes me appreciate my deceased grandmother's efforts even more on a weekend to make this sweet for me as she did. I mean, she continued to rest in peace. Seriously, this is really tedious. <laughs> It's tedious to get this um, pulp out of this um, blended thing, man. And I'm going to put this cooker back on here now. So as we said, three quarter cups to a cup. So I'm going to put one, two, three, um, three cups of sugar. Yeah. One, two. So I don't have any red coloring, 
So I'm just going to go with the natural color, hoping it darkens a bit to give it a more brighter, pinkish looking. Maybe I'll, I'll search the cupboard and see if I can find any red coloring in there to put a few drops. But this is hard work. <laughs> oh my gosh, this is hard work. Right. So I'm going to turn the heat down and leave it to cook there now. Let the sugar dissolve and when it starts coming off the edges of the pot and forming a bit of a ball, then I'm gonna add I'm gonna add some cream of tartar and then I'm gonna grease my dish in the meantime to pour it out. So let's see what's gonna happen here now. I'm just gonna let this continue doing what it should do. Okay folks, so that wooden spoon was too small. I would have gotten a lot of burns. Ah <laughs> uh, my god, so I got this tabla <clears throat> and a lot of big guys, the big guns to uh, get this going. So I'm going to put here now um we call it quarter teaspoon of cream of tartar. No, I didn't find coloring. I actually added one teaspoon of concentrated sorrel that I had. And that gave it a lot of a little color. Right, so I took my cream of tartar and I'm just gonna continue stirring. Stirring, 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 stirring. Until it comes in, I think probably about 15 minutes again and this should be ready. I have grease a bread tin or a bread pan or a loaf tin, whatever you choose to call it because I'm going to cut this in some squares so. okay. just going to continue stirring until it's time to pour it out okay folks, so it's about time to pour it out now as if you can see properly down inside there yeah. okay, it's really like jelly gel like now and the edges has begun to crystallize a bit down in the bottom there so I don't want it to burn and it's really thick and nice so I'm going to pour it into my pan now so I grease this pan with oil a bit of vegetable oil Here I'm pouring it in. And then I'm going to spread it smoothly around. Okay guys, so this is our finished product. This is our gopher cheese. And of course it's sweet. course it is sweet let me take a piece from here yep it's sweet and very fruity mm -hmm. yep mm -hmm. so that's it a lot of hard work into it, but finished product is top of the line. See you. Bye.